Hello everyone, welcome to Tutorials Point. In this video, we will be learning about atomic number and mass number. Now, atomic number represents the total number of protons present inside the nucleus of an atom. And suppose an atom has two protons, its atomic number is 2. And if it has 10 protons, its atomic number becomes 10. Now, this atomic number is represented by a letter capital Z. Now, all the atoms of a particular element have the same atomic number, which represents their identity. And it is unique to all the atoms of a particular element. Now, we know that a neutral atom has equal number of protons and electrons. So, for a neutral atom, this atomic number also denotes the number of electrons. For example, an oxygen atom has 8 protons. So, its atomic number is 8. For a magnesium atom which has 12 protons, its atomic number becomes 12. And for a lithium atom which has 3 protons, its atomic number is, uh, that is Z, is 3. Now, we know from Rutherford's atomic theory that almost all the mass of an atom resides in the nucleus. And since nucleus has protons and neutrons, they are all together called nucleons. Now, the electrons that lie outside the nucleus of an atom hardly make any significant contribution to the total mass of an atom. It is because the mass of an electron is very negligible as compared to the mass of the nucleons, that is protons and neutrons. That is the reason why we don't consider the mass of an electron when we go for the mass of the atom. Now the mass number is therefore defined as the total number of nucleons present inside the nucleus of an atom. That is, it is the sum of the number of protons and the number of neutrons in an atom. The mass number is denoted by a letter capital A. Now let us take some atoms and then find their mass numbers. For a carbon atom, we see that it has 6 protons and 6 neutrons, which add up to give it a mass number of 12. Similarly, for an oxygen atom, it has 8 protons and 8 neutrons. So, they together make 8 plus 8, that is 16, which is the mass number of an oxygen atom. Similarly, for a sodium atom, which has 11 protons and 12 neutrons, the mass number becomes 11 plus 12, which is 23. Now, we represent an element by its symbol. But very often, we may need to represent the atomic number as well as the mass number of that particular element with its symbol. So, we do it this way. The atomic number of the element is written at the bottom left corner of the symbol of the element, whereas the mass number of the element is written at the top left corner of the symbol of the element. For example, a carbon atom is represented like this, that is C612. Since 6 is written at the bottom left corner, we say that 6 is the atomic number of carbon. And here, since 12 is in the top left corner, 12 is the mass number of carbon. Now, for an argon atom, it is represented like this, argon 1814. So, 18 is the atomic number and 40 is the mass number of an argon atom. And similarly, a nitrogen atom is represented like this, that is nitrogen N714, where 7 is the atomic number of nitrogen and 14 is the mass number of nitrogen. So, in this video, we have learned the atomic number is the total number of protons present inside an atom and the mass number represents the total number of nucleons that is the sum of the number of protons and neutrons inside an atom. And also we have learned how to represent symbolically the atomic number and the mass number of an atom along with the symbol of the element. So I hope you all had fun learning this lesson. Thank you.